Hey, what's up, buddy? Welcome to today. Today, we're going to be looking at something they did that not a lot of people may have initially noticed. They kind of throw it, like, threw it in there kind of sneakily. Not really sneakily, but just a lot of people didn't really notice it because a lot of people thought this weapon was bad in PvP. A lot of people would be using this, a Grim Hellbriar, for things like PvE. But they uh, actually did a pretty crazy change to it, which is A, increasing the scaling by 0.5, which is always nice. But B, which is the change I told them to make because I knew this was the main issue. The main issue was you would always miss your uh, crit in combat. You would like use it and they'd dodge out the way. So they made it 50% larger. Look how large it just gets on its own. Look at that range, bro. You could just sit in it and basically deny them from being able to enter. And the issue is, is that you have to constantly parry. I don't think it has auto parry frames or like if you try to M1 or like crit in it, it will still get hit. So we're going to use this guy as an example right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the crit. As you guys can see, first, oh, just look how big it gets, man. Oh my goodness. And so that's the damage right there. As you guys can see, first off, it does a lot of damage. Second off, it actually procs, uh, what is it called? Enchant effects. Unfortunately, detonation was patched uh, like a few patches ago to not apply multi-hits on crits, right? But for things like Grim and other things like Tears of Eden Kite or whatever that like procs on crit, it's gonna be super easy to get it off because again, for most uh, enchants, I need just one hit of a crit for the effect to apply. But because it's a multi-hit, as you guys can see, right, it's able to hit people, um, you know what I'm saying, in this giant AoE. So I'm going to have this guy come over here. You actually can stay right here and you come over here real quick. I'm just going to show you that it also has a pretty, pretty like big uh, vertical range as well. Right? Oh, well, I guess it didn't hit him there. But um, I say like the vertical range is maybe like up to, I'd say around here on like the brick, right, up there. It's usually able to hit people. What is it called? Um, that's like not too high up, right? and a little bit below so you can see it's a little bit above him um but yeah dude so again the 10 range plus the buff on the m1 and m uh, and the critical which the scaling is applied to makes this weapon an absolute powerhouse right so i'm gonna go ahead and have one of these guys real quick uh when you guys come up you guys can go ahead whenever i use it kind of like dodge out the way i just want to see if it will hit one of you guys right <clears throat> As you guys can see, even though he dodged out the way and was in his ghost, it lasted long enough and it kind of auto-tracked towards him to where if he didn't completely move out the way or like, you know, roll twice out of it, he would have kept getting hit if he tried to M1 me after rolling. So usually what I would do is just like a quick feint into that. And then usually they'll be forced to like, you know, play defensively and it'll give me opportunity to use things like, I don't know, Glare, Abyssal Ridge, right? The Pressure Blast is kind of the point of the build, right? With the clones too. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's also another thing with the clones. If he has a running bench shaper, it also works but enough of me yapping let's go ahead and actually show it off in combat to showcase how good it can be all right guys we got our first match here now one thing i actually thought about trying to do you can kind of fake people out with it right so like look at this ah see how it okay that one kind of missed but usually like you see what i mean like you can do like a little fake out like that if you really want to like it's based on where you aim your mouse right oh taunt him oh y'all see that because he's forced to parry, right? He's going to be, uh, be able to get hit by some of those things. Abyssal Ridge him. Hit him with the double one. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Bat damage. Oh, my goodness, dude. Especially with the Grim as well, dude. We can actually treat people like they're monsters in PvE, dude. Let's try Pressure Blasting again into the critical. Glare him. And then Abyssal Ridge. Ah, that missed. Taunt. Nice. And he's knocked. There we go. As you guys can see, bro, it... The damage, now these guys were at a lower elo, we're only at 1200, so it's not really comp like that yet. But the guys we're fighting were kind of shredding with, uh, and this build, even though it has 5 proficiency, it's usually not known for doing a lot of damage. I'm not really looking at this build as one that does a lot of damage. So just know that when you're landing a lot of those hits, it hurts, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go into a few more matches. All right, we got our next match here. Let's use it right here. Nice, pressure blast. Oh, our pressure blast got canceled. Oh, but we did get like two hits off, which is like basically two and ones almost. Nice. Abyssal Ridge into the taunt. And let's get big damage. Big. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The double. Dude, that guy is like already probably half. Oh my. That's not even funny, bro. Oh, into the faint. Into the Abyssal with a glare. Ah, okay. We only got one hit off. Oh, I forgot they added that back. They actually added back the. Uh, the block on uh, what's called at the end of parries instead of and uh, he's already down that that i'm not even joking that much like 40 45 seconds right and he's already down that is that is insane damage again this mob will treat players like their pve if you just 
managed to get a couple hits off. I think each hit does like maybe 20 to 15 to 25 damage, right? So like two of them off, that's 50 damage. That's like a basic critical. Get three of them off, that's like that could be like 60 to 75 damage. You can see how the damage ramps up quickly, right? Uh, let's go on to another match. Uh, this guy's using Lightning Cloak. I'm not gonna lie. Anytime you see someone using Lightning Cloak, bro, there's there's no reason to entertain that. Just like wait for it to run away. And as you guys can see, it's already gone, bro. Like, I don't know. They need to. They definitely need to change something for Lightning Cloak, where it actually has like, you know, what I mean, a reduced time if you haven't used it as long for the cooldown. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Him. Nice, dude. That like damage buff to Pell Bear is also nice too. Nice! Oh, dude, he teleported to that one. And he's knocked. Alright, guys, that one was the clone kind of also doing some work there. I think the clone damage is a little bit bugged on LBR because you gotta be careful because, like, your clone can also hit you. If you guys are running a Vin Shipper, sometimes your criticals of your clone can hit you, and that happens here, so I have to be a bit careful, but her clone also did a lot of damage. Alright, Metal Curse Blade user, huh? It's not been like a while since I've seen one, but this is like the first time up today I've been seeing this guy. I've been seeing a lot more heavy users recently as well. Maybe because, ooh, see, now things like Revenge, dude. If they can revenge into your thing, that's also one thing I like about it, low key. Yeah, that I said, you can't SO now, buddy. It ain't doing much for you now, bro. Ooh. Come on, man. Nice, there you go. That, that S holding wasn't working there, bro. It, this this build can put in some work against people just hold S like that, but I digress. Let's go into another match. Alright, guys, looks like for what we're gonna be fighting last, it's gonna be another 10 range weapon. This guy has the new, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, wait, that's a nice damn worm tooth. That thing, I think, is a little bugged right now. Uh, the count, like the crit, if you hit it from a long range, is like hella damage. Nice, got that off. Spawn this in. Oh, he's just running away. Okay, that, I'm not gonna lie, that's our biggest weakness. People running away. Oh, because, well, it's not like the thing is very fast, right? Nice. Ooh, that melted him. That melted him. Oh my goodness, that guy just lost like two bars right there, dude. Holy crap, that is crazy. Larum, it just doesn't move fast enough sometimes, right? Yeah, you, you have to be like right on top of him as you like land that, bro. Nice, do this, into the crit. Come on, nope, nope, no escaping from that. Nice! Oh my goodness, a little devious taunt combo right there. All right, guys, that's pretty much all to show up with the Pale Briar. Um, I don't think it's the best heavy weapon, the crit can be pretty crazy if it lands. If it's landing, you, you have like options. Just be careful of using the crit and like trying to use like pressure blast, like glare. Because if they carry the crit, it cancels, unfortunately. It cancels um your your attack. So that's something to be aware of. But for the most part, I think it's I think it's a pretty nice crit now. And it's probably even better for PvE. Like if especially in, I don't know, maybe things like Deluvian. But yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll be catch you later, right? Peace.